about a month later was when everything started to change very fast. After spending a month with Ruby, I mean, Ruby allowed him to continue on, on trying to figure out what the general was hiding. The others couldn't tell, but Junior immediately knew that something was not right. Something was going on. And he had to figure out what was going on. He had to. Luckily, yep, everyone was gone to attend a meeting. Meeting with Weiss's father. This took, this gave Junior the perfect opportunity he's been looking for. <clears throat> Immediately, he went into the general's office and started researching Project Shin. This shocked Godzilla but Jr. Because what he ended up reading, well, what he ended up seeing was something very shocking. Project Shin Godzilla is a anti-Godzilla weapon. Clone from a Godzilla. This got Junior's attention, and almost instantly, clone from a Godzilla. But how could that be possible? <clears throat> How in the world was this possible? A Godzilla clone? Junior at first tried to resist that, <clears throat> but then <clears throat> he ended up diving deeper and realized this was three years old. All of this information is three years old. Junior realized that he hasn't been here for three years, so... His smelling another Godzilla theory could actually be true? Could this be true? Is there really another Godzilla here? <coughs> That Junior didn't know about? And if so... How in the world is this possible? Unless... Junior decided to head straight down to the... To the basement. Guards tried to stop him, but he ended up knocking them all out and destroying the security cameras. And destroying the tapes as well. So that way there could be no evidence that he was here. He continued to make his way down to the basement until he reached to the basement. Instantly he started roaring and calling out to this Godzilla. At first, he heard nothing, but then, he ended up, you know, picking up the scent of another Godzilla, but unnatural, unfamiliar. Junior smelled other Godzillas in the past, and this one smelled not like all the others. This one smelled unnatural. He 
can feel its presence. Then, he saw a giant curtain. He then looked down and saw a button. He pressed the button and the curtains and it's moved out of the way, and Junior's eyes grew widened. It was... a Godzilla, but it didn't look like a Godzilla. It looked more like a zombie, sort of. His skin, and it looked like it could stand with any type of attack. His arms, on the other hand, were small, but he saw the tail, and it looked like it had a face at the end. Junior was shocked on how long the tail was. He then looked down and saw that the re that the recording said Project Shin. He played the video and watched as the general explained about Project Shin. Godzilla. Why would the general hide this? Junior was thinking. And how would he create a Godzilla clone? Unless Junior heard the roar and his heart sunk. No, that roar sounded way too familiar. He started running down the hallway, going deeper to the basement. When he arrived, his heart sunk. He couldn't believe who he was looking at. He rubbed his eyes and checked to see if it was a dream or not. But no, this is no dream. He was staring at Gorjirin, his mother. His mom was alive. She's alive. And she was here the entire time. Junior's heart sunk as he saw all the wounds on his mom. Mom? What have they done to you? Junior turned to his Godzilla form immediately and started breaking in the restraints. He tried his best to wake up his mom, but she didn't answer. He then roared out loudly, and very loud, on the fact that he shook the entire kingdom. Gorgeron weakly opened her eyes and saw her son. Junior? Mom, what in the world did they do to you? They used me. They created that thing over there. General Ironwood is wanting to make his own Godzillas <coughs> stronger, faster, more powerful. Mom, do you have enough energy to turn to your human form? I'm getting you out of here. Gorgerian concentrate her energy and then turn back to her human form. Junior did as well. He picked her up and started heading out immediately. Several guards tried to stop him, but he ended up pushing through and ended up leaving in the kingdom immediately, going straight down to the lower part of the kingdom. He then saw a grimmer attack in the city. He then roared, Get out of my way, you stupid grim! This got Ruby's attention immediately. As she saw within the distance, Junior slammed down one of the mammoth-like Grimm. She then looked and saw he had a purse in his arms. Junior looked down to face his mom. Don't worry, Mom. I'm going to get you out of here. i got to find a hospital. Where, where is the nearest hospital? Gorgian pointed at the closest one nearby. He then headed straight towards it. He dropped her off and then went back towards the general. General, you're dead to me!
Ruby and her team ended up following Link, Link Jr. along with Ironwood's sol soldiers. Well, at least the hunt huntsmen and huntresses. Junior punched down the door and saw that the general was already there. He then walked uh, extremely fast towards the general and grabbed him by the throat and slammed him against the wall. How dare you! What? what? How dare you keep my mom here without even telling me? And how dare you make a clone? So you knew? No, I figured it out. You. You. <laughs> After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me? You kept my mom's secret from me, and you didn't tell me, let alone you made a frickin' clone? Team Ruby and, me and and the generals, I mean, soldiers came in. They were here. They heard the whole thing. General, is that true? Did you catch Junior's mom here? Yes. Why? One good reason why I should not sleep. What's vice? Why? Give me one good reason why I should not tear you apart right here, right now. I want to make my own Godzillas. Why? After what happened to your father in 1995, I realized your kind grew weak. How dare you? I make my own Godzilla so that way they can be stronger, better, and more adapt to handle any type of situation so we can end this madness. <sighs> did you forget what did I did? Back in 2004, I took an entire army of monsters. Most of them were under control by the freaking aliens. And most of them ended up being my friends and family. While the other half turned out to be invade Earth invaders. I made the aliens leave this planet alone in peace so your kind can continue to live on this planet. You should be thanking me that I, s that I actually chose to save your lives instead of helping the aliens. do this to any more of my kind again. For now and I'm not considering any other Godzilla that you create. I'm not considering them as my species. They are a disgrace. They're nothing but clones. But if I ever find out that you're doing this to one of my kind again, I will find you and I will end your life. And I will take your kingdom by force. Well, y your girlfriend and her friends ended up betraying me anyways. Before Junior can do anything else, Ruby got his attention. 